This video is about what we would call an alteration uh, command. It's it's in the modify tools, but it alters our objects. <clears throat> and uh, you can see I've, I've drawn a, a circle and some lines and things here. So let's start with trim, probably the most used. And on the pull down next to it, we've got trim or extend. They, they are the opposite of each other, if you will. So let's go into trim. And uh, basically what I can do is click on what I want to trim out. That's the easiest way to, to say it. You can't trim, well, you could delete a line, okay? But when I hover over it, you see it goes back to the next thing that crosses it. Okay. Now, at the same time, after I'm in this command, if I were to hold, I think it's my shift key. Yeah, hold down my shift key and I can extend while I'm still in the trim command. And the extend command works the same way. Okay, so if I go extend, I can extend across there, hold down the shift key, and now I'm in trim. Okay. So now let's look at a couple of other things here with that. So I'm going to copy this line over multiple times here. Okay. And I'm going to go extend. And like I said, these things work the same. Trim and extend work very much the same. And so I'm going to choose a boundary edges. I think in trim it's called fence or something like that. So I'm going to go B for boundary edges. And I'm going to select, ooh, okay. So it selects that polyline. Hmm. And now I select my objects, and you can see it, ex it extended them all the way across. It crossed over this and went all the way to that. But I want them to go all the way up here. So since this was a polyline, let's explode it. Everybody likes explosions, right? So we come up here, this little icon right here, explode. And now it converted all of those into regular lines. So let's go back to extend now and choose a boundary. And I'm going to choose both of those and then right click my mouse. And now I come down here and start selecting these lines. I could select them individually. I could hold down my cursor and drag across them and see it extended them all the way out to those other lines there. Okay, now let's go back and look at trim. Uh, trim, it's called cutting edges. Okay, so I'm going to go T because I want to trim everything back to inside that polygon. So I'm going to choose this bottom line as my trimming edge press enter and then I can come through here and select those lines and it will trim them all the way up. I don't have to do multiple trims. You don't have to click multiple times across there. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much how trim and extend work. Uh, the fillet and chamfer, let me pop another rectangle in here. Of course, we talked last week about how to uh, add fillets and chamfers and rectangles when you had them already. So maybe I should put some lines in here, too. Okay, so the fillet command will do just that. Um, you, you need to look at your options down here. Because when it first starts, it has a radius of zero. Okay, so we need to tell it a radius that we want to use. <clears throat> or, you know, if you've been doing them, use the command, it'll have whatever the last radius was. So we hit R for radius, and then we have to tell it a, a fillet radius. So uh, I don't know, I'm going to say 0.25. And then I have to click the two lines that it's going to fill it. All right, and it put a 0.25 radius arc in there. There we go, radius 
and it trimmed out the intersection of the lines. Okay, so let's go back in and do that. Uh, let's look at that again. Okay, so my options down here, the, the ones that are really, I, I guess, important to you, uh, the radius and then multiple. So if I hit multiple, it means that I can fill it multiple corners in the same operation and not have to restart it over again. Okay. All right. So now let's look at the chamfer command because it works pretty much the same way. Um, except for chamfers are either based on a an angle and a distance or two distances. Okay. So if I know my angle is a 45 degree chamfer, I can go A for angle, <clears throat> specify chamber, what? Uh, I don't know why. Oh, it just changed the way it works. Specify chamber length on first line. So I'm going to say 0.25 inch, enter. Angle from first line, I'm going to say 45. Select first line. Select second line. Okay. And it puts a 45 degree chamfer there. Okay. Uh, if I'm distance, because I might have a, a, a weird chamfer that has two different distances. It's not a 45 degree angle. So I tell it my first distance and we'll say 0.25, enter, uh, specify second chamfer distance. I'm going to say 0.5, enter. And now I select the first line and the second line. And there you can see it, it did a 0.25 in the X direction, 0.5 in the Y direction there. And it cut that out. So those are uh, fillets and chamfers, um, trim and extend, break. Okay, so let's look at break. If you have to pull down under the modify there. And, and there's some other little things here that you could look at and play with. Uh, we have it done. We'll, we'll we'll get into polylines quite a bit in a little while. Uh, so this one, join, will join two lines that are end-to-end -end into one single line. Okay. For example, I drew a line starting there. Well, these are two different lines. Okay, so I can use that join command. And now those that is one line. Okay. The other two, you got two of them here. One is a break at point, and the other is a break, and it removes the material in between the points. So if I go break at point... <clears throat> And I select my object, and then I specify my break point. Yeah, it does that sometimes. It, it just goes with the very first point. You can see now it's broken it into two different lines there. Okay. So if I use <clears throat> this one, And I can break it two points, and it will cut out what's in the middle. And the best way, the best way to use that is where you've got intersecting lines like here. So let's do that one again. <clears throat> it didn't take. Okay, so we'll go break. Oh, so whatever the first point you click is where it's going to start that break at. So, okay, so we just have to kind of 
play with those. Okay, um, that's all of our manipulation and alteration commands um, for this week. We'll get into, um, I got a couple of tutorial files that I want you to work through, so I'll, I'll look at those and pop some video in for that.